Well, you know, it's funny because one of the, the last things you asked me on September 7th was, do you have a partner who's passed or is passing? And I said, I don't know. And then this week, someone completely different, actually the father of my children, passed very unexpectedly on Monday. On Monday, which is why on Tuesday, I was like, Brandon Burton, do you have half an hour? Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Very crazy. Crazy. Very crazy. Thank you. And so do you realize, though, you keep saying September? Do you connect to September? <laughs> Did I say it again? God. Um, it's my son's birthdays. And uh, September holds a lot of things. Because you're channeling your husband, your ex. Oh, my God. September is when we started dating. <laughs> Sorry, 26 years ago. <laughs> this week's been pardon my language fucking crazy <laughs> holy heck okay so let me tap into some Let's stuff dig here. In. <clears throat> so so there's stuff in my throat all of a sudden and i think i need to recognize that like i'm having a hard time breathing there's a lot of pressure on my chest today so was it unexpected and did he go down to the ground at all? Like, did he go to the floor? Was it a heart attack? Yep. Okay, because holy moly, holy hell, he went through my whole body in that very moment and he made me feel exactly what he felt. Um, and um, he needs us to know though, that regardless of how strong I think he presented himself, that he was kind of terrified in that moment, but he, for a second, and then was was fine. Like, it, it, whatever eyes, so was, there, was anyone in front of him? We weren't there. Someone who works for him was there. So yes. Someone watched That's... him die. Someone yes. saw him because he keeps showing he... me the impression that he made or or not so much died there because was he rushed to the hospital? And then his nephew met them there and he watched him die. Thank you. Because there's two, there has to be these people though that in, saw him that he keeps trying to take what they saw out because I think that he had the face of very scared, fearful, like something really, like, I really think he's putting this out for me because I'm getting shivers now. He, he's out of control. Like I need to, I, I'm putting him into control. Like I'm like, calm down your energies, calm down. Cause he's, he's antsy, but he's almost like discombobulated. Um, and so I'm wondering if that's kind of what he was like on earth, somebody that couldn't like, you couldn't get through to him. He shows me his eyes are hazed over on things you would say. And he's like, it's like, hello. Like I wasn't even paying attention. Like, it's like, he was oblivious to the reality that he put you in. Yeah. And for that, he says, he's sorry. This is so strange. He goes, I am so sorry to not take my energy seriously enough. I did not believe in spirit. I did not believe in any of this. I am so, so sorry. Like I did not lead you right. I didn't lead my family right. I wasn't leading anybody right. He keeps looking around. He goes, oh my God. So he keeps showing me the awakening he had to have after he died. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The man that you believed in is the version of him stepping forward for you today. Good. Because there was a lot of unfinished business. There's a lot of unfinished things he did not get to say or do yeah. to make things right. He, I think he shows yeah, money, control. Now, did he ever have control over certain money or did someone have money over control? Because it's making me feel like he was jealous and insecure and there's something about not making sure someone could do certain things with money. Does he have, is there three children somewhere? Is there three divided out into three? He has... So we have two children together and his nephew was like a son to him. Okay. And so those would be the, he wants to divide it out into three. So it's so funny that you say that it is a huge issue right now. No one knows where his documents were. Well, the, the thing is his sister was separate. He was estranged from his sister. She was estranged from the family. And now she is, he did everything to try and keep her away from this stuff. And right now she is trying to take control of this stuff where he was very clear in wanting everything to go to his nephew and his children. Was the nephew the oldest? Yes. 
because the, he's making me feel like the nephew made him a dad or made him feel like a dad like the first go around like made him he feel was we always joke he was a parent to nick but not to his own kids so yeah he was a father to his nephew but not to his kids and that's not resonating well with your soul Mm-hmm. He made and, amends in the last year or so, but not not to be the parent I think he wanted himself to be. That was an intense validation. Like that felt intense for me. Like that's like that signified all things around that topic that like nailed in the coffin of that thought that emotion that chapter of like that em- it's, an em- it's a veil it's a yeah. veil over him so he's really trying to take that though he's he's taking that pain that that caused because it's truly unfair because the world that we're in teaches us that the title that I was should have been more respected to the people that needed that. And I should have taken my steps further into my hero and like the hero uh, mm-hmm. and, and his higher, it's his higher self I'm connected to. Right. Very clear. It's very mature. It's very wise. It's very much like, I wish I would have done this instead. Like right. now that I'm connected now that I'm mm-hmm. back. I, I, and you can understand it this way. This is why it's being presented this way. No way in heck could I talk to anybody around me in Oklahoma City like this. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Welcome to California. <laughs> yes! I don't want to go. Oh my God. Where, where at in California? I'm in Redwood City. So just south of San Francisco, Silicon Valley. <sighs> Come a- on out. So... Is there an Alex anywhere? Not like, that I'm aware of. Or an Alan, like an A L, like um, Alec, Al, Alan, Alex. Oh, Alberto. Yeah. yeah. Oh, A L B E R T. Oh, Alberto. Yes. Oh, good. Got it. Because look, I'll show you. This is how names work. It's always the prefix. Yeah. Okay. And and those of us from. Modesto and Redwood City would automatically go, Alex, Alex. (laughs) That's awesome. Do you have a a child around 23? She'll be 22 in October. Oh, perfect. So she's a badass. She is. She is a badass. He is so funny over here. He goes, yeah, and she has some crazy trust issues with guys because what she can't handle though is men that have w- bad work ethic. And and she is so sick of man, uh, what is it called? Man nice. Mansplain. Mansplain. Yeah. Uh, she's like, he keeps talking to me about her and like how she has these opinions and thoughts and like, you can't fucking tell me what to motherfucking do. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thousand percent her. Yes. And so he's like, it was because of me. It is one thousand. I always go. I always see her. Your guitar is showing. <laughs> okay, that is a spherical. Okay, so here's the thing. He goes now. If I was alive and if I knew what I knew now, I would tell her that she was this crazy, incredible manifester. Anything she could put her mind to, she's going to be able to just transpire that. It's all going to come through. She's the catalyst to physical activity. She can manifest matter like crazy. He's over here like in support for her in ways that he never understood. So like, yeah. She's a power manifester. She's a witch and she's magical. She has unicorn threads and blood. So like she can, do a, lot of shit. She can do a lot of cool shit. Yeah, but she she's can. angry and she's she has a lot of bitterness inside of her yep. that she's trying to work through. And um, I just need to chat with her. <laughs> <laughs> I will book a chat with you <laughs> for her anytime. Cause yeah, she's she needs she needs a lot of healing. 
but she's so she needs to understand the version of god because she's angry with god and she yes. needs to find how to tap into her faith differently so she can understand her soul because she's running from it and she's busying herself from her soul and the mask she's putting up is is overbearing and she's yep. just ovulated and she needs to decompress and find herself and be okay with her anger she's afraid of what she can do with her anger she's afraid yeah. of burning down bridges she's afraid of pissing people off the wrong kind of people the right kind of people she's like she's all over the place <laughs> and meanwhile she's pissing people off <laughs> <laughs> your your ex-partner had a lot to say i mean gosh there's still Good. a bunch of more to say but he's being way more respectful and we're gonna just know that he's evolved and he's who he needs to be good and he has found his loved ones and he is safe and he knows he was loved here. A thousand. One thousand. Even though he pissed people off. <laughs> well, enjoy right. the rest of your day. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. You too. Uh, also, the doorbell rang or whatever that was at my yeah. time. Two, two, two. So angel number coming for you. Two, two, two. So, so just know that the three twos came at me whenever you, whoever rang your doorbell, it was at uh -huh. my time at two twenty two. So perfect. Uh, yeah, so that was, I wrote that down. So anyway. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much. Have a good day. Bye. You too.